Hello and what is up guys, my name is Pixel Polish, and today I'm bringing you a guide on how to kill Shen Gaoren using a bow. This is a 6 star urgent quest from the village elder and we'll be using Black Bow 1. I actually made a similar guide over a year ago and posted it on my old channel, but it, the video was pretty much poor quality, so I re-recorded this one in full 1080p and this time I'm also using Blackbow 1 instead of Blackbow 2 because Blackbow 2 might be pretty tricky to get at this point in the game if you're not playing online a lot. Killing Shen Gaoren for the first time might be tricky for our newcomers, but it's perfectly possible even while using the weakest Dragon Bow that exists in the game. Uh, some people might say you should switch to hammers or something like that. Don't listen to them. If you enjoy bows, just follow my guide and everything will be fine. But enough of the introduction, let's go and prepare ourselves for the battle. First things first, you might want to visit your kitchen and eat something to increase your health. Now that's completely optional because you shouldn't get hit once during that quest, but it's also better to be prepared. If you don't want to use demon drugs during the quest, you might eat for some attack boost, but that's also completely optional. Other than the proper bow and armor, you will also need uh, several uh, useful items to take with you for these quests, and here is the full list. Take three combo books with you, they will be very important. 10 mega potions, 5 mega juices, power charm, optionally farcaster, small barrel bomb, 2 large barrel bomb plus, 10 ba bounce bomb plus, uh, 20 empty bottles, 50 power coatings, 20 nitrous rooms and 1 power seed. As for the armor, get a full Gunner Senator set and obviously Black Bow 1. After you begin the quest and get into the camp, go straight for the chest and pick up map, supply large power bombs and ballistas. Also note that there are extra 20 power coatings in the chest. Now you won't necessarily need them, but if you would decide to get them later down the line, then just use the optional farcaster that you may have taken and get them from here. When you're ready, proceed to area 1. On the right side you'll find some barrels and uh, under them uh, you should find some extra ballistas and probably max out the ballista S amount that you can carry. After you're done digging for ballistas, move to the left side of this area and get some extra supply uh, large barrel bombs and possibly a bounce bomb as well. After you're done, proceed to area 3 through area 2 and step into the battlefield. Right after you get to the final area, note the Dragonator button between the cannons on the top floor and Ballista on the lowest floor of the fortress. This will be very important to use because that's the only way to defeat Shen Gaoren using Black Bow 1. After you land on the ground floor, move to the top left uh, of this area because this is where Shen Gaoren will step in into the battlefield and just wait, in the meantime maybe use the power seat that you have taken. Now a little word of explanation. Why I haven't told you to necessarily eat for attack boost or take the mega demon drugs and demon drugs. If you own power charm, those attack boosts won't stack with the power charm itself. This renders all the uh, potions pretty much useless and the only thing that could raise your attack a little bit more is the power seed. Now if you don't own the power charm that's a totally different story and you should maybe eat for attack boost or at least take the mega demon drugs, demon drugs as well as power seed. Alright, all you can do now is to wait for Shen Gaoren to step out completely out of the fog into the battlefield and then you can slowly start unloading on his shell. Now, this is a very important information. You're using Blackbow 1, which obviously has the dragon element, and also piercing shot. That's why you need a senator armor to raise your piercing shot's ability. So, basically, the uh, dragon weak point on Shen Garon is inside of the skull he's carrying on his back. This is the Lao Shang Lung skull. Just imagine where Lao Shang Lung's tongue should be and aim at that point. 
Also, make sure that before releasing the shot, you charge the bow to the max capacity to achieve the maximum piercing power. When Shengoren gets closer to the gates, be sure to take Mega Juice so that you can unload on his shell all the time without stopping and fully charging your bow. Also, don't apply power coatings right away, because if when his shell is up in the air, it's actually not the best idea to use power coatings at that time, because you're not achieving the maximum damage. So you wait with power coatings until he actually lowers the shell and gets near the ground. Now, keep charging that bow to the max and continue shooting Shen Gaoren's shell from a relatively close distance. You don't want to be too far or the damage will be lowered. Each time Gaoren uh, raises itself high above you, be sure to take off the power coatings because this will be a waste. Just wait until he lowers himself again and then apply power coatings and do that as far as you actually own any. If you'll run out of power coatings, just combine the materials you have taken with you, which is empty bottle and nitro shroom, and make some more. Alternatively, when you run out of every material and every bottle of power coating, you can use the Farcaster and go to the camp and grab the 20 extra power coatings, but that's really up to you because it's really not that important. After multiple consecutive shots, you should finally get your first Shengoren shell break and he will fall down to the ground. Now that's the best time to use the bombs that you have taken with you to the quest, so use the large barrel bomb plus, actually use two of those because you don't want to waste more time on placing just a single bomb. After you get out of the range of the explosion, just continue unloading on Gaoren's butt as usual. After that first break, Shen Gaoren will actually be much more prone to flinches, so use that to your advantage and just continue shooting. Every flinch stops him from attacking the fortress, which is a good thing. After a while you will get your second break of Gauren's shell. Now if you've been keeping up with the guide so far uh, and everything went according to plan, after he raises back on his legs, he should start slowly turning around uh, facing the shell against the, not the shell, the skull, uh, against the gate. Now this is your cue to immediately start running for the ladder that you have jumped off while getting to this area in the first place. When he's turning around, what basically means is that he will gonna do the acid spit attack by opening the Lao Shang Lung's skull and this is the perfect opportunity to use the Dragonator for the first time.
When you get to the Dragonator, wait a little bit until he comes closer to the gate and actually starts the attack animation which will be opening the mouth of Sh Lao Shang Lung and lowering himself. When he lowers himself, that is your cue to activate the Dragonator. This will not only damage him a lot, but will also stop him from attacking the fortress, which is the whole point. After you use the Dragonator, go to the lower floor of the fortress and use the ballistas that you have picked up before. Now aim the ballista uh, somewhere around the big gaping hole in Lao Shang Lung's skull to further damage Shen Goren. After you get back to the ground floor, just continue shooting Shen Gaoren's shell. Uh, when he falls down, you might want to use up all the bombs that you have. Uh, this will be also a pretty good time to use all the bounce bombs to damage him further, which possibly, maybe, if you're lucky, will make him flinch while he's attacking the fortress. And then just wait for the 10 minutes left mark. If you have been dealing damage constantly and fast enough, right around the 10 minutes left warning, Shen Gaoren should start turning around again. Well, this is your second cue to use the Dragonator, which will be now ready to use again, because you cannot use Dragonator all the time. So just climb up the last floor of the, of the fortress and use the Dragonator just as before.
if you'll manage to flinch uh, Shen Gauren before he approaches the Dragonair, he will get a little confused for a while, he'll do some spinning in place a little bit, but sure enough he will continue towards the gate to do his spitting attack. So just be patient before you use the Dragonair. After you get back to the ground floor, just continue shooting Shen as usual and this should be the last time you actually have to run around a little bit because he should be pretty much dead by this point. So just shoot a little more and watch him fall. Alright guys, this is pretty much it. As you can see, uh, defeating Shen Gaoren with Black Bow 1 is very much possible, so don't let anybody tell you that it's not or that you have to switch weapons to something else. Uh, as you can see, it was pretty easy, took a long time, we j just managed to defeat him before the 5 minutes left mark, but it was good. Now I know that uh, my tactics weren't perfect, and my timings could be a little better probably but still it doesn't matter as long as it works and as you could see it worked perfectly so if you're gonna follow my steps you're guaranteed to win I hope this guide was useful to you in any shape or form and if it was please give it a like and if you like my videos then subscribe to my channel for more so thanks for watching guys and until we meet again